guys, it's Josh Sterney, Ridge Farmer. We want to take you through the garden a little bit today. We've got a string up our tomatoes. Our garden's right over here. We want to also talk to you about a few problems we're having with the garden. I'll show you how we string up our tomatoes. I'm going to ask you for some solutions. I've got squash beetles, and squash beetles are squashing my squash plants. It's not cool. I'll show you what's going on with them. It's been really windy, really rainy, and some of my squash plants actually blew off the ground and separated from their root due to the squash beetle larva eating at the bottom, like at the bottom of my squash plants. So let's take you through the garden. We'll show you how we're stringing up our tomatoes this year. I'm a little bit behind on getting these strung up, but I've got a lot of stuff going on and I haven't had time. It's a shame to let these tomatoes grow across the ground, so we gotta get to work. I'll show you what we do and we'll show you these squash plants and show you the harvest that we're getting right now. And if any of you guys know what I can do about squash beetles, let me know. I, I want an organic solution to this. Uh, I've heard soapy water, I've heard other things. What have you done to keep the squash beetles off of your squash plants? Let me know. So let's go in the garden, we'll show you what we're doing. So guys, here's my squash plant. It blew off of its little roots. Uh, I've still got squash on this plant. It's, I just don't get it. I don't understand, but the squash beetle eats right here and just, just destroys the uh, root right here. We'll throw this in the chicken coop, let the chickens eat it, but man, disappointing, very disappointing. But at least we got one good squash out of the deal. Can you hear my rooster? He just won't shut up. Still got a crowing rooster that just won't shut up down here at the chicken coop. Whatever. We're gonna give him some squash plant. Give him some greenage. Make them eggs taste yummy. Here you go, guys. Eat that squash. Get you some squash, birdies. You want some, don't you? This is my rooster right here, and he has an attitude problem. Just so you know, you're not the boss here, buddy. He's giving me the dirty stare. Guy's got Japanese beetle problems too. Look at this tree, it's just destroyed, decimated by these Japanese beetles. Crazy. Let's shake the tree and see what happens. So here's the tomatoes we already staked up. I'll take you and show you what we did. Uh, basically, we're just using baling twine and there's a prior video, I'll post it somewhere at the end here. You can dig back through. But there's a prior video that shows you how we did this. Um, basically, how we made the yarn balls that we're gonna use to uh, stake up our tomatoes. And this row's been staked, or excuse me, this row has been strung, and this row hasn't. And this row has most of our Roma tomatoes, and this one has most of our like eating tomatoes, like big boys, better boys, and stuff like that. So let me uh, cruise the camera by and you can see what's going on. So it's not really supporting too well right now. Uh, right here is how we did it. We basically just made three rungs and ran all the way down the row of tomatoes, just like this. Uh, but we're not getting a lot of support like I'd like. I think we're gonna have to rethink this, do some tomato cages or something like that. Down here it seems to be doing very well, but where the tomato plants aren't doing so well, uh, we don't have a whole lot of support. So really you should walk your garden every day and try to support your tomato plants. Something that we haven't been able to do because of work obligations and a lot of rain. So guys, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go down about five inches off the ground. We're gonna tie our first string on. You don't have to use a fancy knot. I just use a couple granny knots to get her tight. Then as we go, we'll walk all the way down the end of the row and we'll wrap around each post and we'll go to the next post over, okay? So you've got support in the middle and support all the way down the side. So we're gonna get busy and get that done. Also, you might see back here behind me, we've got uh, tape, caution tape, ran all over the garden. We had a deer problem and until I can get an electric fence up, we're gonna use this caution tape to deter the deer, that and the dog. And I put some uh, spotlights, some solar spotlights over here. So should be pretty cool. It's keeping the deer out so far. Our cantaloupes are doing well, our watermelons are doing well. And I think we might plant uh, a little bit of corn today too. We'll see. But today's all about supporting our tomatoes. 
So I've got Mrs. Stony Ridge and she's gonna go ahead of me and hold the tomatoes up while we string them up. All right, so the question goes, what do we do when we get to the end right here? And basically what we do when we get to the end right here is we wrap it up, we go up one more rung to support, and then we head back down the next row, boom. We just keep doing this and wrapping them up, raising the tomatoes up on these uh, uh, pieces of twine until we get our tomatoes all wrapped up and staked up. So it helps to have a good partner to help you hand off the string when you're going through here. If I had to do this over again, I would have these spaced a lot closer together. I'd probably have them at about 16 inches. I think they're at about 22, 24 inches right now. It's just too far to support these tomatoes. And I actually probably could just run one uh, row of stakes and support them with one string each and maybe next year i'll do one row like that and one row like this and see how they do exciting doing this i'm looking forward to getting myself some delicious tomato sauce some good spaghetti sauce good homemade spaghetti sauce basically at this point we've got everything all wrapped up uh, we've got our twine wrapped around our post and we're going to go around and we're going to support our tomato vines up on the twine and make sure they stay in place. If we have to tie one on, we'll tie one on and that's basically it. But I do have one final thing I want to show you real quick. So in the south, we've got a specific kind of worm that you don't really see very much anywhere else. I think it's called a tobacco worm. Check this thing out. It's a monster. So here's the worm. I think he called it a tobacco worm. Ooh. And I don't know for sure that they don't bite. <laughs> Let's see. Let's break this sucker off. And... What kind of worm is it? Oh, gross. We're going to see what the chickens do with it. <laughs> so the good thing about having your chicken coop near the garden is you can put all kinds of delicious goodies in for the chickens. And we'll put this in there for them. So guys, that's kind of it for the farm vlog today. I wanted to show you what we were doing in the garden. Basically, we're just weeding out the garden a little bit, uh, stringing up our tomatoes. Going to have to figure out a better way to support these guys. I think I'm going to get some little zip ties and tie the tomato plants on because it's just not holding them up like I'd like it to. Next year, when we do this, we're going to do it totally different. So stay tuned for next year's vlog about how to support the tomatoes. I've, I did this before when I lived in a, had an urban farm in the city of Greensboro, North Carolina. And I'm going to do it again here. Basically, you uh, run one uh, string across the top and drop strings from it. And you let your tomato vine climb. Really, really awesome. Maybe we'll do that later on in the year with some late tomatoes. So we'll see. So guys, thanks a lot for coming and watching the video today. I just wanted to come and take you through the garden, show you a little bit, show you how we're supporting our tomatoes. We waited a little bit too late to support them. And some of the vines had grown into the ground. So kind of a bummer. But we'll have plenty of tomatoes. I think we have about 140 something tomato plants, something in that range. I haven't counted them in a while. My rooster still won't shut up. Whatever. Thanks for watching. Come back and see me. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe to the channel down here or down there or wherever the heck the video is. And love my rooster. Gotta name that rooster. He won't shut up. Give me a name for him. Thanks a lot, guys. Woo! We'll come on down to the stony ridge. Bring your wife. Yeah.